Welcome to I Love Stocks. I've got a few tickers I want to talk about tonight, and we're going to run them in order here. Tesla, Apple, AQB, Shrimp, VMAR, Amazon, and Piton. And let's go, let's start off with Tesla right off the bat. Everybody knows that I call Tesla a tech company. That's of course. So, builds cars, builds solar, builds chips, flies into outer space. I'm 100% bullish on Tesla. Most traders think it's just a car company. I think it's more than that. I think it's an innovator and a tech company. And I'm going to keep my mindset that way. And I'm always going to be bullish on Tesla, no matter what level it is or how low it gets. I'm going to play the dips and sell at resistance. Here on out, right now I'm just scalping. And if we get a hard pullback, I mean one day where it just tanks, I'll buy long. But for right now, I'm out of my long position and I'm scalping it. I scalped it twice today. So let's go ahead and check out Tesla on the chart. I'm bullish on Tesla. Today we had three black crows right into, right into the open. And that's what's caught my eye when I saw these three black crows. And I said it's time for the reversal. It did reverse back after we had that first green candle right here. We created another one that was above the body of the last one. That was the go ahead to get into the trade. Now it did dip on down a little bit more and I was able to get out of it, get in it and sell it at the 200 resistance right here. Well, actually it was right here. That might have been the SMA I was looking at, the EMA. Let me see here. At this time it was the EMA. Once I got right up in here, I got out of the trade. It didn't take very long and I was able to make about 290 bucks on it. Then she went ahead and pulled back and I got a second scalp right down here as it hit the second time and I scalped it for about 60 or 80 bucks on that trade. That was it for me. I only do two trades on the same stock in a day. I don't ever go three because it always turns into bad luck. As you can see, it did pull back on that on that support level. Once it hit up here, it just kept on falling back and it hit my lower support. So I'm about ready to clean this chart up and start fresh. Let me take another look at it. We'll look at the 20-day real fast. So I'm, I'm to that point where I want to clean it up because i got so much trash in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to draw a couple new trend lines and be a little bit safer, clearer about this trade. So we got a support level right here or resistance level right here at 665. We got another support level right here at 646. And then we're going to have a third one right down here. And this is kind of how I'm looking at it right now at 625.65. In my last video, I called 654 after we had that huge break for a pullback. And that's about where she pulled back today, a little bit below that. And that was your entry to take that first trade. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up to the uh, one minute. Actually, let's go ahead and take a little look at the one year real fast. I want to see if I missed anything on this. We'll just draw this top resistance line up here right around the 690. Let me fight up real fast here. Right there around 693.95. I'm going to find anything in here where I think, and that's probably where I got that 54 at, right in here. Yeah, actually it was off this candle right here. And we'll pull it back one more low support here at 602.18. That's where a couple traders think this thing can pull back to. And I kind of think it could too. If we did have the knife at 602, I'm willing to take this trade all the way back up to 650 again. Let's go ahead and go to the daily one minute and see if I missed anything. We have some resistance levels right up in here, right around the 678.77. And then another one right here at 671.11. And then a bottom line support. Let me find an equilibrium right in here, right about there at 633.59. Now we'll go back to the 20 day or the 10 day and see if I missed anything on this last run. Things looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and draw a trend line right in here at 657. So support channel, no lower than this 646. I'd like to see it hold. That's going to be our new support as it starts to come down. It's starting to show a Descending, tri descending triangle. 
where it's coming down and then we broke that resistance today but that sell-off this morning was uh, i don't know I, I just didn't like it i didn't like that sell-off at all i thought vegas was right that we were going to have the rebound and we did now we broke down below her to that 646.18 support level and i think that should hold if not we'll take it back down here to 633 or 625 with a strong buy at 602.18. Resistance to break is going to be the 678.77. And that's Tesla. Next one we're going to talk about is going to be Apple. Apple had some great news here after hours. Everybody knows what Apple is. Apple a day will keep the doctor away. So, big deal here to me about Apple. They're moving forward or they're self driving car, car, tech, car technology and looking to start production in the year of 2024. So let's pull up the Apple chart and take a good look at it. Called it out in the room. I said it was going to go to a certain level. We hit that level. And I think we might be popping up after out. Ooh, what happened here? We're at 132. This is interesting. See, I, during the room, in the room, I said, you know, if we hit this 129.55, we could pull back to the 127.83. People are excited about this. People are down on Apple. I've never been down on Apple. I've always been a bull on Apple, especially when it pulls back. I had a 123.74 support. The older support before that was 118. Then we got down to 114. I was buying on that dip. So we've got to kind of think, hey, where can this pull back to? We've got a support level here at 130. And we're going to magnify this up a little bit. I mean, this just really went nuts. So I think we can pull back to that 130 and hold that support level. That's kind of like a little con consolidated into after hours. Or we'll pull back to this 129.26. These are going to be your three support levels. Let's go ahead and chart this in red. Then we got this other one right here. We're going to chalk that in red. I'm looking for places of consolidation. I'm very bullish on Apple. I always have been. We've got a strong support channel down in here. And I have this 127.83 as a low support. And then maybe the second channel is going to be right in here. And you see it runs right into that 200 right now. So we're going to color this, these two right in right here. Just in case it decides to pull back. it right about in there this is going to be my third support channel with a strong buy at 127.83 and that first touch at 182.62 with a pivot point inside the channel at 128.16 the second support will be here at 129.26 and then that first one here at 130.01 and that's the way i'm going to look at apple i'm very bullish on apple into 2021 i think this stock can easily get to 150 to 175. So let's go ahead and look at another one. AQB, talking about salmon. Home race salmon. I think they've had this genetic for over 30 years. Let me see if I can find it. Our salmon. Good news, salmon lovers. Now savory your favorite fish. It is my favorite fish next to mahi mahi and helping and some crappie that we, we catch here in Missouri and white bass and helping save the planet are one of the same. Meet the irresistible AccuBounty Atlantic Salmon, genetically engineered one time 30 years ago. It's a safe and fresh choice, responsibly raised right here in the USA, keeping the oceans clean. That's why I like AQB. So let's go straight to the chart. I love this chart. I love it, love it, love it. We were calling this under five. We're going to look at the 20-day chart. We see right around here, around 515, she had that triple bottom. Bam! She ran all the way up to the top to my resistance level at 1045, and then she's on her way back to do that again. Uh, I think if it breaks 962, we will hit this 1014, and then that 1045. Support level is going to be right here at 832, and 760 for a very strong buy. 
That's going to be 8QB. I'm bullish on 8QB. The one right after that is going to be shrimp. It does the same thing. Now, they've increased their productivity by three by twofold, threefold. Let me find it here. Natural shrimp. I love shrimp. I love salmon. So i am been in this trade at 10 cents. Miss Vegas says she's been in it a lot cheaper. Great for her. But I think that I love this. Love this company. Her and I ran this up a couple years ago from a piddly few cents all the way up to almost 90 something. And I think we're in the same course right now, especially with being all green. And I think that's what's going to be some of the driver for next year in 2021. Anything that, that's green, that's good for the environment. Is going to be a, that's why the EV cars are running, and I think that'll bring General Motors up too. As you can tell, fat cats only play General Motors, and we all play these little low float uh, EV cars that are just coming out of the pocket. So let's look at the shrimp chart. Like I said, they've increased their capacity by threefold, and this is a good thing for shrimp. We're going to go ahead and take you to the shrimp chart. SHMP and I'm going to try to find some resistance levels here. We did hit my last couple and I'm very bullish on this trade. I've got a support right now here at 3307. I think it can pull back to that. It does like to pull back and then bounce back up. So let's look at the chart. Let's look at the one year and I'll tell you where my next resistance levels are on the one year and this goes back to three years. Let me show, pull up the three year chart. As you can see, them candles, this is where Vegas and I run it all the way up to 94.90. And then, bam, she had the hard sell off, and then just all of a sudden, we started reversing back up. So I got a pivot point in this channel right here at 43. That's going to be our next resistance level to hit the 43.13. I'm bullish on this company. I think we can take it up to the $60, 60 cent level, and that's probably where I'll cash out. I've got a pretty good, I got 20,000 shares at 10 cents. This is 43.13 for the pivot point on the three year channel. The, and support, let's talk about support again. I'll bring it back to the day. I think it could be right in here. Let me change this. Right there at 30, 33 cents. Then you got another one right here, right around 34. Then you got another one right here at 3467. These are your three support levels, actually four. If it decides to knife, and then we've got one more. I can't leave that out. That'll be a guy slow. I mean, this could be like a bounce back up, but I think we're going to break resistance right here at 39 and then run it up to that 40, what did I say, 43. Let's go back to the year. Let's go back to the 20 day. What did I have that on? Yeah, there we go. 43.13, and then if we can break past 43.13, it's smooth sailing all the way to 60. That's shrimp. I like it. Now, VMAR is another environmental-friendly trade. I have know this one. Uh, I watch YouTube a lot, and I watch these guys. They travel around, and... Let me see here. They get rid of all this crap. Go back to home. Could probably run that video, but I'm not going to do it. Well, they make motors. They make electric motors. And they, they think that they can run these boats in the water, in the ocean. So I'm excited about this, this company myself. I'm kind of, you know... I'm, I'm an envir environmental wacko, is what you want to call me. I like stuff. I like the environment. I was raised in Portland, Oregon. So I used to climb Mount Hood and fish the waters. And I just like to pick up trash. Every time I'm out, I've been known to pick up in clean areas that where people just throw trash at the fishing holes. If I'm there and I see trash, I pick it up. So I'm very into this stock right here, and we're going to look at the chart. It's a low float. Let's, let's bring that to your attention. I think the float on this, let me see if I got it up here. Oh, 
The float is 1.94 million. I picked this up on Finviz. 1.49 million. So we're going to type in the ticker here. So that makes it a little volatile. That means there's going to be low float traders trading this stock. So when I do, when I see something like this, I like to play the pullbacks. I like to find a support and play the pullbacks. And I'm going to find it here. But let's look at the yearly chart first. We'll take all this mumble jumble off where I can see it better. This is my SMA chart, SMA 200, and, and then you got, I think this has not been out very long, and my 200 and my 50. Let's pull up the year chart real fast. Yeah, see, it ain't been around very long. So I'm going to look at the 20-day. I'll get a better picture of what we're looking at here. I think this thing can probably find support right down here, kind of find an equilibrium. There, there, well, yeah right there. I'm going to find a pivot point in this channel. And I think that could be right here. It's kind of hard to say. It ain't been out, ain't been out very long. And I find me a support level right here. Then we got a resistance level, which now becomes support. And then we got this other spot in here. I'm drawing these lines on the bodies of the candles. That's where, to me, I find most of the consolidation where the buyers and the sellers have finally just gave in and it's an equilibrium. So we got to break up, we've got to break resistance right here at 1633, 32. Now remember I said this was a low float stock. Okay. So we're going to color this area right in here. I think that's going to be the low support to hold and anything below that, it's going to be a very strong buy. We'll just tap that in right there. It's kind of a bad drawing. Let me redo that gotta be neat bam come on boy try to be clean see what happens there we go much better I got a little support channel at 1486 and 1507 the second supports gonna be right here at 1540 with that first one and I should raise this up just a little bit to between 75 and 84 we got 75 and 84 I'm gonna get this right in here on this candle in this one hour right there so that's gonna be like your first support channel between 1575 and 1585 your second 1540 and then 1486 to 1507 and I'll play it back up Try to break resistance here at fifth, that first one, right here at the 1575 to 1585. My, we had three white soldiers right here. It can pull back to that first support very easily, and then it depends on the weather if this thing wants to pull back a little bit more. But I, that's the way I'm going to play it. I don't think I can wake up and see it freak out and break out. I think it can pull back and get you some slack right here at. 1486 to 1507 and then that is VMAR now I'm going to talk about Amazon I like VMAR it's an environmental friendly stock with a low float let's talk about Amazon AMZN this one here has been a tough one to trade lately we did hit a peak I thought we were going to break out of that resistance but instead we've got a descending pattern she can bounce off the 20 day on this 200 SMA 20 day, one hour. It can pull back to that level again, and that's where I'm going to consider support level. I'm going to call this 200 a pivot point on the 20 day. Now, if I'm really looking at it strongly, I really like this area right in here very much because I had a triple top here with a breakout. She's pulled back a few times to that triple top. And that triple top is right at 318671 with a low support. A strong buy down here at 3149.79, and then you got your other little support areas, and that's going to be right here at 3186.71, and then off that 200, if she wants to retrace back up. We are getting lower highs, and that kind of concerns me. I think we can come back one more time, and then bounce up, and maybe start to squeeze up to the upside. But we're into a short week. Uh, 
people are going to be taking their money out and doing what they can on the holidays. I'm going to be by myself because I kind of have a situation where I can't go out for a while. And it, it's pulling back right now. And you can tell by my throat how it hurts. So we got 3176.57 right here. And I'm hoping that she'll bounce back up and find a resistance level. But I'm going to stick with this area right in here for a support level at 3176 or at 3178. In there between that $2 range. Amazon, I like it. I'm going to wait for it to pull back to that 200. So if you're listening out there in the room, let's see if we can get back in here at 3173.83. And this average will move around a little bit. And we'll check it out from there. And then the last one, I mean, this last one's amazing, Piton. It had some good news here. Let's see if we can find it on the chart. Where are you? Uh, ba -ba 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 Let's see what kind of news it had today. Does anybody know? Anybody know what kind of news it had? Made an acquisition for another exercise company for $400 million, $420 million. To help their backlog in building their machines. They are so backlogged. The new wave, and I've talked about this about Piton ever since I started looking at it when it was down at 80 bucks. We're going to have a new era. We're going to have a new economy. We're going to have a lot of things are getting shifted around. There's going to be a lot more privacy. People are going to be working out in their own homes. They're going to be uh, let's go ahead and pull up the website while I'm talking about it here. People are going to be working from their own homes. So they're going to be afraid to go out to these gyms and have, you know, exercise in these gyms because they're going to be germaphobic. I don't think I ever will be. I'll start licking my fingers again when I can. But because I think I've built up a pretty good immune system. I'm 59 and I still look good for my age. And I really haven't had any health issues until COVID. And uh, that's besides the point. But I think people are going to be um, working out of their home, working out, and they're going to have spare bedrooms. When they start building houses, they're going to build two things. They're going to maybe three. They're going to build an office. They're going to have make sure that they have a, a babysitting room. And they're going to make sure they have a workout room. I think that's the way the new wave is going to be in the next 10 to 20 years. So I'm really excited about Piton, and let's take a good look at the stock. It did have a nice little breakout after hours. I kind of want to clean this chart up, but let's go to the 20-day first. See if we can find us a nice little support off the 20-day. It's getting a little foggy. We had a had a, what I call a pennant flag yesterday in the room pennant flag and then we had a breakout from that pennant flag so let's let's go ahead and erase all this mumble jumble and start fresh i really want to get this right i think it could pull back to this 151 and then we got a spot right in here and we've got another resistance level right up, right up in here we're going to bring this up to the daily one minute now let's see if we got any more in case it pulls back we got no spot right here you can see the pennant flag that we had so we'll bring it down to that bottom of that flagpole right there. Now, let's bring us up to the daily one minute. Right there's a good support level where we had this crack after hours. And then another one right in here. So we've got a strong buy if it pulls back to the 144.52 area. Let's go ahead and chalk that in with red. And then we're going to have another support right here. So this is kind of a little channel right here. If we're going to be our second support channel between 146.10 and 147.92. First support right here at 153.02. Second one is going to be right here at 151.06. Then your third one is going to be here at 149.55. Now I think if it does knife below them, these are going to be areas of strong buys. With a very strong buy down here at the 
And see, we had an ascending triangle right here. You see what I'm saying? 144.52 with that fourth support channel 146.10 and 147.92. But I like to see it hold between 151.06 and 153. And inside that channel, it's going to be a pivot point. And that pivot point is going to be right here at 152.07. I hate it when I do that because I got to go back here and I'll never get the same spot again. Let me see if I can find it again. Right there. I did it. Okay. First support 153.02, 152.07, 151.06 with that fourth strong buy at 149.55. And if it goes any lower than that, I can't see it doing that. I want to see it hold this 150 tomorrow. And start to go sideways and build a channel. But this is a pretty good little breakout after hours. It's a little irrational. So we're going to kind of think it can pull back a little bit. And then we'll look for the reversal come tomorrow. But I'm very bullish on Piton. I have been for a very long time. And we've had one heck of a spike. I think every time we get a good spike like this, it'll pull back. That support channel again, 151.06 to 153.02. And that's it with I Love Stocks. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and hit that like button. Always remember, we love stocks. Miss Vegas has a little Twitter page here. Follow us on Twitter. We're moving up, getting a lot of followers day by day. We want to get this up to 10 grand, 10,000, and I think we can do it. And let's see what else we got on here. We've got on the website, we've got our stock twits. Hit our stock twits. I gained 100 followers so far this month. Maybe more than that. Yeah, about 100 followers on Stock Twits. So hit that like button. Follow me on Stock Twits. I'm posting alerts in here all the time. I was telling people I want to do a redo video on shrimp because it's run up so well. I've had like 400 views, 300 and some views on that. And called this Tesla squeeze earlier. Pulled this out. Well, I got my answer. I asked everybody, when's the next resistance? I said, we're going to go to the 200. That's where I got out of the trade, at the 200. Made an easy 60 bucks on my second scalp. Just a matter of, what, if I'd have bought more, yeah. It, but, you know, a matter of 10 minutes. It's pretty good pay. Tesla's on its way to hit the 1 trillion market cap. So let's go ahead and have a good day tomorrow. And I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you by then, Happy New Year. I love stocks.